Test, 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 audio test, one, two, three. Check, check. The crew, led by executive producer Brian Knappmiller, is documenting Joel as he travels between islands at night. Excellent. All right, come on, guys. Right, when a school of needle-nosed flying fish caught the crew off guard. We hear this noise, bam, chaos happens in the boat. Unseen by the crew, it appears Brian was struck in the neck by a fish. Push on it for a moment. It just felt like a fish jumped out of the water, hit me in the back of the neck. I got a little whiplash, and that was that. Can we radio forward to the medics? Yeah, OK. Yeah. After we need to stay there. Discovery producers were forced to put the hunt on hold for half an hour to get emergency personnel to Joel and Brian's location. It's not going to be sick. Sick. It's been sick. Uh, don't feel sick, but I would love to get to shore. Please just have the medics stood by at the production office. By all appearances, Brian was cut on the neck by a fin, but the true extent of his injuries were not yet known. <laughs> oh my god, dude, are you all right? You got hit by a flying fish? The cut yeah. is here. Yeah. Hit me in the back of the neck. Unbelievable. What else could happen? This whiplash hurts. Uh, I'm sure it does. The on-set medic is able to stop the bleeding and patch up Brian for the time being. It's the freakiest accident I've ever seen. I mean, it happened right past my head. Bizarre okay. is what this totally is. Bizarre. bizarre. Brian is sewn up but has found a lump that indicates something is lodged in his neck. You have to operate. Yeah, surgery. Yeah. You need a surgery. Yeah, surgery. What initially appeared to be just a gash was actually the entry point of a stab wound. I wasn't just hit by a fish, but I was actually stabbed five inches completely through the back of my neck. Brian needs immediate medical care. They will not put their people at risk landing in at an improvised landing. This is an improvised landing area. That other island has an official landing zone, and it's 15 minutes away by boat. Getting Brian off the island and to a hospital has become a four-hour ordeal. We're going to take Brian onto the beach and to the next island that's 20 minutes away from here. And there's an airport there with lights, and there's a flight from Senan coming in right now to pick him up. The rough sea poses a serious threat to Brian's neck, but the raft is his only way off the island. I don't think anybody realized how serious it was. It was later determined that Brian had been stabbed in the neck by a ballyhoo fish, and a two-inch barb had broken off in his neck, centimeters from his spinal cord. It hit me almost more after the fact how this spike that basically went completely through my neck from one side to the other had it even just nicked my spinal cord or just nicked a main vein or artery, life would be a lot different now. Yeah. This show has been uh, just one issue after another. Every island, every location has caused us some problem. It's just unbelievable. It just doesn't stop. <laughs>